Hello, everyone. The trial within a trial of Senzo Meiwa is currently taking place at the High Court in Pretoria. Constable Mapumula testified in court yesterday and Advocate Mgomezulu cross-examined Mapumulu. He began his line of questioning and asked that when the witness received a phone call from Kininda, where was he and Munarening at that time? He told the court that he was not sure of a particular place, but they were in Edenvale. The advocate also asked the time. He said he doesn't remember, but it was in the afternoon. Ngomezulu then put it to the witness that when Brigadier Kininda requested them to transport accused number one to Deep Kloof, police station where was the accused kept at that particular time he said he doesn't know Mgomezulu said upon his arrival where he met the suspect the witness said he's not sure where he was Geninda came out with him in the police premises in Eraton. Mgomezulu asked if there's a police station in Eraton. the witness said no but it's police premises Advocate Mgumezul further said who was with Geninda at that time. The witness said he doesn't remember and only mentioned Moraneng, the one he was with, and the suspect. The advocate said besides those people he's mentioning, was there any other person there? He said he doesn't remember anything. The advocate was puzzled because this useless constable can't remember a single thing. The advocate further asked that the first time he saw the handcuffed accused, was it the time he came out in the building with Geninda or was it in the vehicle where Geninda took him out from the vehicle? He said he only remembers when he was coming out in the police premises. Ngomezulu further asked if he wasn't part of the conversation that was taking place between Moraneng and Geninda where Geninda was instructing them to take the suspect to Deep Club Police Station. The witness said he gave the instruction to both of them and Geninda didn't tell them the purpose of taking the accused number one to the Deep Club Police Station. Mgomezulu said the suspect was assaulted in his presence. He said he's denying that. The advocate said if accused number one opened the case of assault, will he plead? guilty or not. He said he will plead not guilty. Ngomezulu further asked the time they booked in the accused at Valeria police station. He said it was at night but can't remember the time. Advocate Ngomezulu asked if he recorded every event that happened on the 30th of May since he was on duty on the pocket book. He said no. Interpreter then said you are saying no to what exactly? He said no he didn't record anything on that date and he didn't have a pocket book. Advocate Mgomezulu said he didn't detail anything even in a piece of paper. He said no, he didn't. Mgomezulu further asked that how can they assure the court that on that particular date he was on duty. He said when he reports on duty, the office, they write it down. The advocate furthermore asked him why he didn't report or convey a message to his commander that he was requested by Geninda to perform some duties for him. He said he didn't see the necessity of it. The advocate said uh, but the Eretzin is covered by JMPD and he works under a guru lane. Why Geninda contacted them to perform those duties? He said it's because he trusted them and they used to work with him. Advocate Mgomezulu said the only reason why he would call them is because he was involved in assaulting and torturing the suspect. He said no, he didn't assault accused number one. The advocate furthermore said that the suspect was arrested at 1 o'clock on the 30th of May in Tembisa. The witness said he won't comment on that. He further asked that when they were taking the suspect to Valeria, what was the time? He said he doesn't remember. Mgomezulu said his client instructed him that it was in the early hours of the 31st of May. The witness said he doesn't remember the time. Mgomezulu said it's because he didn't record anything. The witness said that could be a reason. The advocate furthermore said he is a qualified officer who is very irresponsible. State Prosecutor George Baloyi objected that question. Gomezulu then demonstrated to the court that the suspect was booked in at 1.40 in the morning by Sergeant Mahola and asked the witness that who was supposed to book him in since he was with Gininda. Baloyi objected that question again. Gomezulu then 
asked the time when they were in Pratsen, does he still remember if police officer Botselezi was there? He said he doesn't remember that. Mgomezulu also asked him that how many metropolis that were also scotting. He said he's not sure about that. Oh, what a waste of time. This witness, Constable Mapumulo, can't remember anything. Is he hiding something? But at least a Brigadier Kininda will, at a later stage, come and testify in court. Share your views on this one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.